Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come to my talk today. Uh, my name is Alex Banks and I'm responsible for the innovation strategy here at NatWest Markets. So together with Margaret Feeney in the US and Louise Naburka in London, we form a centralised innovation team and we're very ably supported by uh, wonderful colleagues and volunteers in Asia and India as well. So what am I here to talk to you about today? Innovation, the latest in a really long line of quite tiring buzzwords that enter corporate culture. We've had digital, we've had data, and if you're old enough to remember when everything used to start with the letter E, well, we've had that as well. So what's different about innovation? What does it mean? And I thought it might be quite useful just to start with a definition. So we see innovation as the process of moving from an idea to a product or service in order to create some sort of value. But if you listen to that definition, you probably think, well, hang on a minute, Alex. That sounds pretty much like what I do today already. And you'd be absolutely right. And that is the first key takeaway of my talk today. In our central innovation team, we don't innovate. We help you to do that. Of course, you can't centralize innovation. You can't time box, control, or try and govern the process of coming up with a fabulous business idea. It doesn't make any sense. So in our central team, what we try to do is provide an external perspective, and we try to foster an environment internally which supports some experimentation. Sorry, bear with me one second. I'm giving away my secrets, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, so, okay, so innovation is moving from an idea to a product or service. But let's break it down a little bit more. There are essentially three types of innovation. Incremental innovation is making improvements to existing products or services. Right? That really represents the bulk of our strategic change program here at NatWest Markets. Adjacent innovation is a real step change, right? One or more dimensions of the core product or service have changed significantly, but the underlying offering remains the same. And a great example for us is FX Micropay. Right? It builds on a core FX business, but bolts on a digital distribution channel. Um, adjacent innovation within NatWest markets, that can feel quite disruptive. But truly disruptive innovation involves the creation of something that's so different it impacts an entire industry right? and renders usually the old way of doing things obsolete. So a good example for us in financial markets is probably algo trading. And when I talk about innovation at NatWest markets, I'm mostly concerned with adjacent and disruptive innovation. And we found that when you innovate in that way, most of the time, you need to use something called an emerging technology. Before we go into that, we do need to take a quick step back. The foundations of digital technology, that's computing power, bandwidth, and uh, storage, have been improving at an exponential rate year on year for the last 50 years. And when you combine that with the phenomenon of widespread access to computers and the proliferation of the internet, you find that you've got really real explosion of disruptive innovation. So things like the overused examples of Amazon, Netflix, Airbnb, Uber, and probably Revolut uh, within financial services. So earlier this year, we were asked in the innovation team to write a report on how these disruptive technologies might impact our business. And in the report, we identified nine technologies, and we call them emerging technologies um, because their adoption is gathering pace and they seem to underpin the disruptive activity in the market. From that nine, we were able to identify three technologies which we felt would have the potential of having the most impact on our business. And they are, coming up on the screen behind you, cloud, artificial intelligence, and tokenization with blockchain. OK, now we're not going to actually explain those technologies today, um, but we have the report. So if you're interested in our view on those technologies, how we think they might impact financial markets, capital markets, and that West Markets, just drop one of us an email, we'll, uh, we'll share that uh, report with you. What I think you're possibly more 
we're interested in today is how these emerging technologies might impact you in your day-to-day -day job. Okay, so we think that might happen in one of two ways. One way would be in your core business, which is what you do today. Maybe you work in trading, maybe you're in sales, maybe you're in marketing, maybe you're a lawyer, maybe you're an accountant. If you were aware of what one of those three target emerging technologies could do today, maybe you'd be able to find some way to integrate it in what you do to improve what you do. But beyond that, I know that you're good at what you do. And, I, 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 and you probably know why what you do is so important to our business more than anyone else in NatWest Markets. So imagine if you could combine that deep business understanding of your particular area with a working knowledge of an emerging technology. You may be able to work with your colleagues to create something really special. Right? Come up with an idea which would improve our business significantly, reduce cost, add revenue, and there are a few examples that we thought of. Maybe you could come up with an idea for a bond issuance that doesn't require a balance sheet, T plus zero settlement, a reconciliations free clearing process, or an automated call note. And that's really at the heart of our message today. We don't need an army of new people who understand machine learning or cloud. We need our people today to learn about these new emerging technologies to adopt and implement them in what they do, and to think of new ways to use them for the benefit of our business and our clients. And that's why, in July, we're soft launching what we're calling our Houses of Innovation. House of Cloud, House of Blockchain, and House of Machine Learning. Whether you're an expert, someone who just uses the technology today, or perhaps you're just interested to know a little bit more, You'll be able to join our, our group of colleagues interested in the same thing as you in our houses. The houses exist to encourage and support experimentation and to increase the adoption of our target three emerging technologies. They don't control or govern, and they don't manage any delivery beyond a proof of concept. But you'll be able to join a house to learn, to access tools, and to meet startups to help you on your own innovation journey. We also hope that the houses will allow you access to funding from our innovation hub so you can actually get some money to support your idea for a proof of concept. Okay, so we've covered quite a lot, but there's one other critical factor uh, to innovation, and that's what we call external perspective. So external perspective can come from meeting big tech or a startup and can give you ideas about how to use emerging technology and really accelerate its integration within NatWest markets. And you don't actually need to buy something from a company to learn from them. Just meeting them might be enough to give you some new solutions to old problems or to give you some ideas. So you might be asking, I thought he was going to talk about our innovation strategy. And obviously, uh, we've covered most of that already. Our innovation strategy at NatWest markets is a recipe to encourage experimentation and help you embed innovation in what you do. It's made up of five parts, and uh, we've come up with a rather cheesy way of helping you to remember the strategy. So uh, S, would you mind turning around, please? Thanks, James. S is the strategy. It represents our focus on the three emerging technologies of cloud, artificial intelligence, and tokenization with blockchain. P is for partnerships with startups, with fintechs, with big tech. Right? So uh, to really provide, inject ideas and provide that external perspective, quite often from an adjacent industry. We might find some, part some partners and suggest them to you, or you might find them yourself. A is for adoption, and this is where we really need your help. Right? To get the use of emerging technology right across our business, uh, we need you to sign up to our houses as they're announced over the summer. Now, Charlie Lovett-Turner, uh, who's sitting at the front here, he's our head of client analytics in our flow trading business. Charlie, if you wouldn't mind just standing up just to make yourself known, Charlie will be the sponsor for our machine learning house when we announce them uh, over the summer. Oh, my goodness. It's an interesting uh, <laughs> pop-up. <laughs> C is C is 
culture. <laughs> Perfect letter for you, Monica. So, uh, yeah, so culture is all about events, right? You've probably seen things like our Innovation Speaker Series, which we launched, la launched last year. And you might have heard about the Hackfest that 250 colleagues took part in in India and Singapore. We're planning to do another one in London later. There are uh, events organized by the JMT, the coding clubs, and the lunch and learn sessions. So culture. And finally, I'll step over here. E is for engaged leadership. You might not be aware, but since 2017, the NatWest Markets Exco have met every two months to discuss innovation. And last year, they supported a whole range of proof of concepts uh, around things like Symphony and Reinfer, and they even actually sponsored our first delivery team for robotics process automation. The really interesting thing is, though, in 2019, all of those proof of concepts have gone on to become business cases in our investment portfolio, and they've embedded in our strategic change program. Okay, so I think we're running out of time, but there are three takeaways I'd like to leave you with just before I let my, uh, my letters go. Um, the first one is we don't innovate in our central innovation team. We help you too. The second one is if you would like some support, and not everyone does, obviously, but if you would like some support to help you to innovate, then you can engage our houses of innovation as they're rolled out over the summer. Number three, if you have a question, a comment, concern, or even an idea, do feel free to reach out to Margaret Feeney, Louise Naburka, or myself. And lastly, and this is the really cheesy bit, cheesy bit so I do apologize, to help you to remember innovation at NatWest Markets, please just think of Space Cat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.